Why are we Americans on the march? What put us into uniform, ready to engage the enemy on every continent and every ocean? What are these two worlds of which Mr. Wallace spoke? The free and the slave. Let's take the free world first, our world. How did it become free? Only through a long and unceasing struggle inspired by men of vision. Washington, Jefferson, Garibaldi, Lafayette, Kosciuszko, Bolivar, Lincoln. Lighthouses lighting up a dark and foggy world. That government of the people by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. But what of this other world? Here, men insisted that progress lay in killing freedom. Here, they were putting out the lighthouses, one by one. Here, the march of history was reversing itself. Over here, John Q. still read what he pleased. And although he heard of books being burned in other countries, he would have laughed if anyone had told him his books would ever be burned. Yes, in these lands, the people surrendered their liberties and threw away their human dignity. They gave up their rights as individual human beings and became a part of a mass a human herd. Each system did away with free speech and free assembly. Each system did away with a free press and substituted a press controlled by the party. Through their ministries of propaganda, each took complete control of the theater, the movies, the radio, every cultural activity and every channel of information was controlled by the most important members of the party. Each did away with free courts and trial by jury and substituted courts and judges run by the party. Each enforced its decrees by an army of secret police who held the power of life and death over every individual. And for the few who still believed in freedom and said so, there was a ready answer. That was the way of life or better, the way of death, in that other world. For this is what we are fighting. Freedom's oldest enemy, the passion of the few to rule the many. This isn't just a war. This is a common man's life and death struggle against those who would put him back into slavery. We lose it, and we lose everything. Our homes, the jobs we want to go back to, the books we read, the very food we eat, the hopes we have for our kids, the kids themselves, they won't be ours anymore. That's what's at stake. It's us or them. The chips are down. Two worlds stand against each other. One must die, one must live. 170 years of freedom decrees our answer. Oh, yeah.